This morning, members of Congress will grill top officials about aviation safety in a hearing on Capitol Hill. It follows last month's largest nationwide ground stop since 9-11. You are looking live now a video from, excuse me, you're looking at video actually from a time where long lines of people waiting at airports was commonplace. Stephanie Haynes joins us live with a preview of this hearing. Stephanie, one of the things we know is that a lot of people have been frustrated by what's been happening at airports, and I guess the hope is that, you know, this testimony today before Congress can help to clear the air a bit. Oh, certainly, Nick. There is a lot that lawmakers will want to discuss this morning. First, that ground stop that happened last month. You know, we also had two close calls on runways, one at JFK last month and then one at the airport in Austin over the weekend. There's also what happened with Southwest over the holidays. And, you know, here at Southwest World Headquarters, uh, they are announcing that they are cutting hours in half for prospective pilots. And so pilot training and the pilot shortage may come up as well in this hearing and lawmakers have made clear they want to see some changes, some improvements in the industry and in oversight before the end of the fiscal year, especially after that ground stop last month. Remember, a computer outage disrupted 11,000 flights. It's a critical system called NOTAM and it alerts pilots to potential hazards in the sky. Well, the system is 30 years old and the FAA has reportedly since sent a letter to Congress promising to get a new system up and running by mid 2025. Republican Representative Sam Graves of Missouri is the committee's chairman as of this new Congress, and he wrote in a statement during that ground stop that this highlights the need for better leadership at the FAA and pointing out there's been an acting administrator now for close to a year. Quote, the FAA does not run on autopilot. It needs skilled, dedicated, and permanent leaderships in positions across the agency, starting with the administrator's office. I spoke to a commercial airline captain of more than 40 years, and he says the ground stop is the first thing he would want to inquire about. How did it happen? Now that it's been several weeks, tell us how it happened and how you can prevent that from happening again in the future. Do you expect the software change? to take place. We know always with automation things can happen, but what are you doing? That would be a question. This is the full House committee hearing on transportation and infrastructure, and they have called officials with the FAA, the NTSB, and the largest pilots union here in the United States to testify. And then that's not all. On Thursday, the CEO of COO, excuse me, of Southwest is called to testify in front of a Senate committee. So big week here on Capitol Hill when it comes to airline safety. Nick. Stephanie, I think the only silver lining in all of this may be, or one of the silver linings, I know you, like I have, have started to see friends and family members who were caught up in that Southwest kerfuffle start to get some of their money back. So I guess there has been um, at least that development as of late. Yeah, we have heard from people. They have finally gotten their refunds. They have gotten uh, whatever payments that they have made that Southwest has refunded. And then here at Love Field World Headquarters, you know, we've seen planes just taking off like normal. The airport is full and busy. Uh, and so people seem to at least have uh, gotten their confidence back in Southwest Airlines. We'll see what happens today. Stephanie Haynes, thank you so much for reporting for us live. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.